Wildlife authorities are worried by mounting reports of reckless jet skiers and boat drivers threatening our bay dolphins. We warn viewers this story includes an image of a dead baby dolphin that's alarmed protection groups. Dolphins are sharing Port Phillip with an increasing amount of traffic, prompting charter operators to take matters into their own hands. Just days ago, they captured these pictures off Sorrento. And you've got jet skis, recreational boats, physically going over them and you hear people call out, there's one, get it. Their children go over on the jet ski and then jump onto the pot of dolphins and try and grab their fin. Boats aren't allowed within 100 metres of dolphins, jet skiers 300 metres. But the regulations are hard to police. This summer we're getting a few anecdotal reports about what's happening and some of the behaviour out there. Um, we're looking into some of those instances with the, the people that are providing us that information. A dead dolphin calf that washed ashore at Portsea last week confirming worst fears. It had massive um, damage done to its skull and its rostrum and its ribs have punctured its lung. And he says the cause of death was obvious. It could only happen by a very, very severe blunt trauma, such as being hit by a boat, landed on by a boat or a jet ski or something like that. Jet ski operators say they're disappointed their reputations are being tarnished by a minority of riders who refuse to obey the rules. But marine scientists say the dolphin's death should serve as a warning to lovers of sea sports. I think the crucial thing is to use this as a, as a, as a way of reminding people of their obligations on the water. Candace Wyatt, 10 News.